but the jump is definitely look i'm in i'm in on a couple coins you know i'm in on some uh tron i'll be honest i'm in on a little bit of nano and a little bit of algorand bro i'll be honest with you <laughs> you know i want i'm in on some etc and some eth bro i went deep wow. so yeah i'll admit that i'm fucking mild i'm exposed <laughs> <laughs> Back off my broccolini. Get your life together. It is. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. What's up, Daddy O? What's up, Playboys, huh? <laughs> Look at Theo. That snow out there, huh? Yeah, I see you got that little sugar pineapple there with you, huh? <laughs> yeah, sugar pineapple, dog. Now, are you doing the podcast from a Restoration Hardware, or where's your new studio at? <laughs> <laughs> is that the inside of a U-Haul truck? <laughs> Budget cut, yeah, baby. guys. If we had to pull over actually because the engine volume was uh, really, <laughs> yeah, that's funny. So, yeah, it definitely smells like definitely some really good wood uh, thinner or something in here. Wood thinner, yeah, it whatever like wood shop is. Yeah, remember wood shop? Oh, I love wood oh, shop, the best. And and your and your teacher always was missing a finger. Like yeah. no matter what oh, school yeah. you went to, they're always missing a few fingers. Yeah, there was always injuries. And it was like always, yeah, it was always like the drug dealer kids were like building like a um like a birdhouse, and they would like cry at the end of the year and shit. <laughs> <laughs> but they were always really good at it. Like, damn man, how's druggy Dave so good at this? Like, they had yeah, yeah. a real knack for it. And they would write like Xanax on the windows of it and shit. Like they were always kind of taking it to like a weird level for the birds. Yeah, by they I mean Theo Vaughn as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> you had a seven story birdhouse. Who knows, baby? Who knows? How's it, how's it going out there, Mister Vaughn? How's that? How's that <clears throat> snow? That's what you get for leaving us, man. Enjoy that fucking ice cold weather, bud. Dude, well, a I'm glad you made it through the moguls of that sentence. Um, <laughs> I like how he abruptly ended with "bud." Bud, <laughs> I was gonna double down on "bro" again, so I changed it to "bud." <laughs> he should have just went, "I'm out of words, bud." Bud. <laughs> <laughs> he should. He should be able to press a button when he knows he's not going to get to the end of a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, hey, when do you guys get the rest of the wood for the back? Yeah, that'd be nice. well, it's kind yeah. of distracting yeah man black curtain doesn't mean anything this that looks, just means there's a kitchen behind yeah, you Yeah, you look like a <laughs> shitty youtube magician <laughs> are there people dish are people washing dishes behind you theo <laughs> yeah they are yeah they are hey guys we need more ramekins <laughs> dude why is every kitchen always out of ramekins there's always one dude like he's always like a gay guy like we don't have any ramekins <laughs> Every time you give him um, shit for the studio, then it's good. We, we're going to have to change it next week. He he, gets, he, he's laughing, but it hurts. Yeah, he's laughing, but he's going to take it out on Nick's face after the show. <laughs> <laughs> Theo hits his employees. Oh, that's great. We're just virtually, so, uh, and it's, it's obviously only through doing VR. That 70s show again. <laughs> <laughs> that's dope, Theo. Um, it's, it's snowed here, man. It's snowed big time over here. Oh, and now you're a little, you're a little swamp lizard. So you're not used to the snow. I was born in the snow. Yeah, I wasn't, I was not born in it, man. I don't, I mean, I believe in it, but I just don't like it that much. I guess it's kind of shocking. A lot of how much snow we talking? How much snow we talking? Like real snow or is it just like a little, you know, maybe four inches. Yeah. You ever look at postcards during the holidays and it's like that one postcard that's just covered in snow? Yeah. That's Nashville. Yeah. <laughs> that's fucking Nashville. Yeah. That's how it's they're just, acting right yeah. now. Theo called me yesterday like, dude, we're sledding down Capitol Hill. Oh, gross. We got a canoe. My oh, God, dude. Gross. No. Yeah. yeah. It's like when I call my dad and tells me about the weather in Colorado. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah. Cool. No one gives yeah, a very shit. Cool. Man. What yeah. else you got? I got shorts on. <laughs> I'm glad you went yeah. ice fishing, but I'm wearing shorts. I'm wearing shorts, and I can't eat in restaurants. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Are you wearing no-show socks? <laughs> I am. <laughs> shorts are good except for church, bro. That's where I draw the line, son. You might as well come out the closet if you're wearing shorts to church. Praise right. God. Praise, all, all praise God, man. Dude, Thank I was you. saying, I don't know how much longer we have Joe Coy on these shows, man. He's doing movies with Steven Spielberg and just blowing up, man. I said, we got him for about another week. Are you really Joe Coy? 
Yeah, we got to see how the movie does, but uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. But you know, no, I, I, I take that back. Universe, uh, no, the movie's gonna do great. It's gonna crush. Dude. Yeah, it's gonna crush, man. Uh, it's Forrest Gump too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Way. It's a prequel. It's uh, it's a brain <laughs> Forrest yeah, Gump. Yeah. It's a prequel. Yeah. His dad is actually yeah, yeah, so cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it Rain Forrest Gump? Yeah, yeah, it's Rain Forrest Gump. <laughs> yeah, it's Jungle good. Gump. Yeah, it's, it's Jungle, Jungle Gump, Gump man. <laughs> Well, Rainforest Gump was better than Jungle Gump. But no, I don't, I don't think so. You guys kind of already kicked it off, but uh, we brought back some of our favorite uh, listener roasts from the YouTube comments, and Joe Coy's got a list uh, to roast both you guys. Oh, should I read them now? Yeah, why don't you read a couple? Okay, cool. It says, uh, I got one from Squirrel Bong, which is already good. <laughs> he said, Brendan seems like he would wait in line all day to try the new size of hot dog. <laughs> I guess is that to eat? Yeah, try, yeah. to try a new size of hot. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, now you got it. He's a connoisseur. He's a connoisseur. Yeah, he's a yeah. connoisseur. Yeah, one's all right. Uh, Shout out to yeah, Squirrel yeah. Bong. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like he's doing good. That one's good. Exactly. Squirrel. Um, this is from Adam Brown. I'm sorry, Brendan. It's about you again. <laughs> uh, switch him up. Switch him up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, let's do this one since yeah, I said it's about Brendan like, already. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Uh, Brendan's mustache looks like a barcode that'll never scan. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. That's good. Oh, uh, this ain't coming up, sir. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, this ain't coming up, sir. That's a self-checkout bad boy you got going on your lip, B. Hell yeah, dog. <laughs> Sale decline, homie. <laughs> <laughs> you scan you scan Brendan's mustache and it comes up lube. What? <laughs> I don't want lube. Uh Theo oh wait, this is from this is from Mr. Painkiller 616. <laughs> Jesus okay. Christ. Mr. Painkiller. I don't want to follow any of these YouTube, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Just by their names. Theo looks like he shops from Bass Pro Shops. Wait, did I, did I say that right? Yeah, yeah I read that Pro right. Shop, yep. He said, Theo looks like he shops from Bass Pro Shops for a living. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. Shopper. Oh, he's a personal shopper at Bass Pro Shops? Mm -hmm. Okay, Some, somehow I'll take made it. Shop lifts. First of all, you guys didn't read it right, man. <laughs> Come on, guys. No, I swear Theo to God. Like shop lifts. Oh, shop, shop lifts. lifts. Oh, no, no, it doesn't say, say shop lifts. Yeah, Theo looks like he's in a shop lift. Hey, first of all, shop. don't make me look like an asshole. That's it says <laughs> oh, shops so, someone spelled it from. Different. All right, Theo. Sorry, so uh, I your, gotta, sorry. your producer fucked this one another, up. Another black guy <laughs> for Nick. <Come> yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to read what's on the paper. And I'm going to do it one more time. Theo looks like he shops from Bass Pro Shops. It'd and you two can go fuck yourselves. <laughs> It'd be easier if it was Theo steals from Bass I, Pro I don't Shops. like the fact that Theo's inside of a U-Haul truck and he's trying to correct me. Yeah. Read it right, asshole. <laughs> dude, this is an 18-footer, dude. Okay? Watch your mouth. How dare you? That's an 18-footer, son. Uh, all right. Where are we at now? Uh, this is from Dr Drinny. Is that Drinny? Uh, let's. Who cares? Who gives a shit, right? <laughs> Brendan looks like he makes eye contact while eating popsicles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can see yeah, that. Yeah, I can I'll see that. Go to Bob yeah, yeah. Now. He gets yeah. all the way down to the wood part. Yeah, look, you're right in the all eye. All the way yeah. right to, to the wood part. I will deep throat one of those. <laughs> oh, he's. A lot of times he gets splinters in his butthole when he's eating them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Brendan likes to put the popsicle in his asshole after he's done eating the, uh, the cold part. <laughs> Let me just put that warm stick in there. Uh, here's, a, here's one from I Pokey Eyes Out. Oh, I read it like I'm the popsicle like pokey. now. I read it like pokey, like tuna. Yeah, that's fine. That's just, oh, yeah. you know, that. That's that's I like pokey. Yeah, I thought that's where they were going with this, but it is I poke <laughs> eyes out. <laughs> All right, you ready? Damn. <laughs> Theo looks like he smells gas before filling up. <laughs> yeah, I know I do. Look at him there. <laughs> Look at him there. <laughs> I, I really do that. Yeah. Yeah, I really do. Oh, that. my God. That's good. What is that? 87? <laughs> oh, that's that 87. Oh, premium on leaded. Ooh. Ooh. That's my audition tape for The Wire right there. I don't know if you guys can see that image right there or not. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Hollander. You ready for this one? Theo looks like he gets paid in crossbows. <laughs> <laughs> I think Tate, I think Theo likes that one actually. He's not even laughing. Yeah. 
Um, uh, uh, Mr. Painkiller 616 again. Painkiller. Yeah, he's on a roll. Uh, Brendan looks like he had a. I, uh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Brendan looks like he had an epiphany from some 41 song. A Sum 41 song? I'm sorry. I don't know who Sum 41 is. <laughs> yeah, that's horrible. That would have been better if I, I knew who that was. I, I, I kind of get great. it. He, he looks like he had Epiphany from a Sum 41 song. That's where he's getting his inspiration from some punk rock. He's got yellow on. Oh, gotcha. Oh, oh it's gotcha. It's an ant. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what's next? Uh, do another Theo one. The the sous chef one, do you see that one? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I like this one. This is from James Richmond. Theo looks like he uh, Theo looks like a sous chef at a women's prison. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him there. No more peas for you, Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I shit in the beans. He looks like the chef and the inmate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bryce Hamilton. Theo looks like a taxidermist intern. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny with the hamster shirt on. Oh. Ah. Love it. Am I just reading these bad or what? No, 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 no that's good. No, We're good. No, okay. I no, feel like it's not your fault. Okay. They're not good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not your fault. They're not good. <laughs> that, that's We're good done. for roast my host. I think it's better if we're all in studio. There's a little delay when he's hearing them. He can't respond. But oh, I thought it. they were pretty, pretty good. Yeah, not bad. No, yeah, I think they're, they're great, great, man. That was great. Yeah. I miss you, Theo. I miss you too, man. I want to know more about the film. When's it coming out? May 3rd, I shoot it. I shoot it in Vancouver and Daly City. Oh, it's amazing, man. Yet. Are you are you looking for two what, 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 white guys <laughs> in any capacity? You're not going to believe it. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're coming back. <laughs> I knew Steven Spielberg. Yeah, man. He said something about diversity. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> What's your role going to be, Joe Coy? Huh? What is your role going to be? Um, I'm lead. It's uh, it's about wow. uh. Easter Sunday with my family, and it takes place one day. Just complete chaos during that whole he, day. Is he, Easter he Sunday. wrote it, Theo? Well, I didn't write it. Wow. It was my it was, was my pitch. Idea. It was my idea, and uh, and Ken Chang helped me write it. So it's amazing. A little like death at a funeral type type vibe, like a whole family. Yeah, it's just yeah, exactly. That's fun. Jesus. Who's who's this big baby? What up, Brandon? What up, Theo? It's your boy Benny here, all the way from the UK, the sunny UK shores. This fucking state of this shit all sometimes. Oh, beautiful. Good the Shire. Got a debate club for you. Now, I know, Theo, you ain't procreated before, and I think humanity thanks you for that. Brendan, you got two. Uh, let's, let's hope they got their mum's intelligence, eh? True. Wow. So my debate club is sons be daughters. I mean, you got that no-quitter son or that all-hitter daughter. Mm. So the debate club is sons be daughters. Gang, gang. So cute. <laughs> so cute. Congrats, man. Daughters are, are different. Can, yeah. you, do, you, do you have a daughter? I don't have a daughter. Yeah, we, we both have sons. Yes. It's, it's a little easier with sons. You're still scared of the world for them. Mm -hmm. But with daughters, you're talking about a world of different. Yeah, way different. Fear factors. And then you also think about how you were as a guy coming up. You're like, mm -hmm. oh, I don't want her to meet anyone like me. Correct. So It's yeah. a scary. That's I feel like scary. it's a scary world for women unless they're in Hollywood. Yeah, I think sons is dangerous, bro, because sons got that danger dick on them. Yeah. Yep. And a dick is full of danger, bro, if you think about it. Yeah, 100%. Hands down. You never it's the most hear dangerous somebody weapon did... ever. Oh, you don't ever hear somebody, oh, yeah, Larry did something awesome with his dick the other day for someone. No. Never. I mean, the, the previous guy just jerked off on his phone and called us. <laughs> yeah, no, like, he called choice. us. Yeah. yeah. I they mean, you, should, two other you actually men. should have a license to carry your penis. You know, if, if you yeah. have a gun, a loaded gun, you need a license. You, you a penis, you need a license. There's a lot of people walking around with loaded penises that are very dangerous with their penis. Yeah, you, you, you got to be careful. The penis, <laughs> you never make smart choices with never. the penis doing the thinking. Mm -hmm. You should never say this to a girl. You sure you're on birth control? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, was, yeah, yeah. yeah, preach. And that's when it happened. And that's, yep. Yeah, a penis, man. You got to think about that, man. A uh, uh, little daughters are friendlier. They're sweeter. Little kids don't give a shit, bro. They will kill you. They'll kill your wife. Yeah. They'll burn your crib down. They don't give a fuck. They would sell crack if they could, if they yeah. knew how to do business. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, you're right. Little boys are violent, dude. Violent. They yep. are, man, and they're mean. 
And then also, thank God for Google, because your kids, I, we, I don't know how your kids were. My kids, the, my son asked me the randomest shit that I have no clue about. Yes. Like, Dad, how long does it take to get to Mars? I'm like, what the fuck? I, yeah. I don't yeah. know. I have yep. to look it up. Yep. Almost 600 days, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 600 days. That's very true, by the way. My dad made up so many fucking things. When you think back oh, on he it, like lied my, so my many fucking full times. Of, oh, a lot full of, shit. of shit, bro. A lot of shit, man. Lied about everything. Yes. But would you rather your dad lie or tell you or like have to go look up the answer like some lame ass dad, dude? I would rather my dad fucking lie to me on the spot. At least my dad knows what's up. Even yeah, if it's I know. Like that. No, because the problem is my dad would lie. Then I'd go back to school and then he'd tell the lie. And the kid's like, no, your dad's full of yeah, shit, Yeah, your dad's dude. a fucking Now idiot. my kids can go back to school and drop facts on uh, those little bastards yeah mm. but then people are gonna be like oh your dad just googled it at least my dad really sold it yeah fair. yeah and my dad smoked but when, when when he was living with me he used to smell yeah. so he really sold it like chain smoker what did he smoke? oh he was a chain smoker so yeah. he really sold it like Good. everything he said just looked real because he was he would take a that's fair nice long drag at the end of it yeah <laughs> do, do you do you lie to your kid ever always <laughs> always <laughs> i've yet to tell my son the truth about anything <laughs> yeah <laughs> You know why Dude, kids, well, you know why boys are resilient? You, you know why they're 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 crazier? Yeah. They cuz they never break anything yet. Until they break something, that's when they stop. That's when they chill. Did oh. your son break anything? He broke his arm. It, it, he slowed down after that. But I mean before that, he was diving and jumping and I'm just, I'm, I'm on this diet and my my son wanted me to eat this candy. I'm like, "Dad can't have that." And he's like, "Oh." And my you know, he just gets it from his mom. He goes, "Oh, cuz you want a six pack?" I'm like, you had like a six pack, and he grabs my stomach and goes, you have a pack now. <laughs> like, All right, dude. Keep talking shit. <laughs> Fat Patrick, boy. Should we move on some relationship advice? Yeah. These people need Yeah, I'm sure help. we can help. Someone look at us. Look at us. <laughs> 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 look at us. What's up, King in the Scene? Listen, I love what you guys do. Uh, I need you guys during this whole pandemic thing. This is, this is crazy. I watch all of you guys' podcasts. Right now, I've been watching you since 2014. And I've been watching you in the UFC as well. <clears throat> so, um, can you understand it? Or relationship advice. I've um, been with the girl for two years. We, we just got married. And her parents have a bunch of property. So, we're going to move into the property, but in two, di two different houses. You know, her parents are going to live in one house. We're going to live in ours. And um, so, what do you think? Can you understand it? You know, by the way, I'm really close with her dad and her mom. So... Um, we'll see how it goes. Do you think it's going to be kind of weird? Do you think it's kind of like not really appropriate? Um, what do you guys think? I don't think it's that big of a deal. I'd like to see the real estate. I'd like to see the houses. Yeah. But if you're close with, like, I'm really close with my mother-in-law and father-in-law. Yeah. They live like a block from me. It's nice having them around, man. Yeah. Full-time babysitter oh, sometimes. Yeah. You want to go on a little date night. Mm. You need a break. To come over help out with the kids. Yeah. So they're right on the property. I think it's a tight move and you make it work. Yeah. You can just send your baby to the babysitter. Just <laughs> walk across. Go yep. to that house right there. Mommy and daddy are. It's mommy and daddy time. Yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> it's Mr. Nasty. Yeah. I, I agree with you on that one. Yeah. Um, what I don't agree with is he has the same curtain as uh, Theo. That's behind him. <laughs> 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 no one should have black curtains in their house. Yeah. That I, is strange. <laughs> But I, I feel for this guy. I, I, he's very sincere. It, it is a hard time right now. The pandemic has put him in a situation. Uh, but I don't want him to think that going to the parents' house is a bad thing. It's actually a good thing. If you get along with him. Like if you don't well, get he along, gets along with the dad. If you, don't get along in, in, if you don't get along with him, it's, it'd be a nightmare. Oh, it'd be a an nightmare. An absolute fucking nightmare. Yeah. Like, but, could you live with your parents? No. Not at I all. I can either. Not no. at all. After two days, I'm like, you guys good? Not even across the street. It'd be tough. Oh, it would suck. It would suck. It would suck. Murder would happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I think but, you know, during he, the pandemic, obviously he's not, you know, this is going to be a good move for him. Smart move. Smart yeah. move. What man. do you think, Theo? I think if you're young and like you're 19 or 20, then it's kind of a little bit more stressful because the parents are worried you guys are over there doing sex and being naughty and they're sneaking around. Um, but I think if you're older and more of an adult, that kind of stuff's all gone out the window. So, you know, you just have to be a decent man. And you're getting free house. This guy sounds like he's getting free house. from the. He didn't say he was paying for nothing. This dude, you know. He's just got to spend time with the daughter, shake the dad's hand every now and then, fucking try to time when he goes out to the mailbox so he ain't out there at the same time as them, <laughs> that kind of shit, so he could, you know, ha not get caught up in a too much verbal hang time, you know, but 
I think uh, I think it's a good move, man. And yeah, they have babysitters. Then you have a babysitter right there. I think families need to stick together. If you can afford to have them on the same property, it's not a bad idea. You could always do a little electric fence as well. <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad movie. A little electric fence. Little get a yeah. Little teach your stepmom the hard way. Yeah. yeah, get a badass guard dog. But like, you know, you can't come over here unless he's inside, man. Yeah, just keep your distance. Yeah, and tag. yeah. I like that. It's yeah, just say, keep telling like him muff, his, say muffins in heat. Say muffin is in heat. You can't come over. Muffin. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you have himself a little six figure queen over there yeah, too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He has a good setup. Yeah, he married into money. Good yeah, job. Tight move, dude. You won the lottery. Listen, man, your thick friend here is on a diet. I'm cutting down from 272. That's right. I'm big, and I got the help of Athletic Greens. Today's program is brought to you by Athletic Greens, the most comprehensive daily nutritional beverage I've ever had. All right? One tasty scoop of Athletic Greens contains 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food source ingredients, including a multivitamin, multimineral, probiotic, green superfood blend, and more that all work together to fill in your nutritional gaps. If you're on a diet, it's impossible to get all that with just food. All right? And they love to make sure you guys are digging it. And right now, Athletic Greens is doubling down on supporting your immune system during the winter months because we know it gets crazy. They're offering you guys a free one-year supply of vitamin D. Get that D in your body, man. And five free travel packs with your first purchase if you visit the link today, all right? Simply visit athleticgreens.com slash K-A-T-S. Join the health experts, athletes, podcasters, comedians, health-conscious go-getters around the world who make a daily commitment to their health. Again, visit athleticgreens.com slash cats. Get your free year supply of vitamin D. Get that D in your mouth and five free travel packs. If you're selling online, man, you got to do it the right way. And thank God for ShipStation. No matter how much you sell, ShipStation makes it super easy to manage and ship all your orders from all your sales cheaper, faster, more efficiently. You can uh, ship with any carrier. We got you covered. They have discounted shipping rates. You'll spend a lot less time on shipping, a lot more time growing your business. That's what it's all about. No matter where you're selling, Amazon, Etsy, your own website like your boy here, ShipStation funnels all your orders in one simple interface so you can manage it from anywhere, even your freaking cell phone. All right? With ShipStation, small business can now access the same rates usually reserved for Fortune 500 companies without any contracts or commitments. It's no wonder ShipStation has more five-star reviews than any other shipping software. Ship more in less time. Just use the code KATS to get a 60-day free trial. Try it out for 60 days, man. That's two months free of no hassle, stress-free shipping. Just go to ShipStation.com. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage. Type in KATS. That's ShipStation.com. Enter the code CATS. Make ship happen. Yeah. All right. This guy's got another question. He also has a nose piercing. Mm-hmm. What's up, guys? Uh, this is Eddie and this is Iris on Don't some relationship advice. Don't put our names in it. Um, <laughs> Don't put our names. Our names. That's not a real name. That's not a real name. No, I'm Shut up. up. All right. Um, huh, this relationship, <laughs> this relationship is gonna last off. a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, you gotta guys, get out of this place. Whoever over. takes out who on the date. So, say if I take out her on a date, should I drive or should she drive? She takes me out on a date. Should she drive or should I drive to her? The date. So, <laughs> can't understand it. Thank you, Theo. And thank you, Brendan. Theo, for being uh, funny and making her laugh. And Brendan, for being good looking and making her wet while. Oh, my she God. Wow. wow. Thank, you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So, I'm not handsome, Eddie? Thank you. Thanks, Eddie. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Eddie. I'll just be the ugly guy. <laughs> yeah, they basically call Theo ugly. <laughs> um, yeah, this relationship's going nowhere. Yeah. Um, I don't mind if the chica drives, man. I don't have a control problem. So if she, if she has a dope ride, yes, it's great. Yeah. I like it when the chicks drive, to be honest. Yeah, I don't mind it. Yeah, I don't mind it's it at all. Not a big deal. Yeah. Would you, would you mind if they paid for dinner? No, please pay for dinner. <laughs> pay yeah. and drive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and by the way, oh, fuck me later. Yeah. 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 Also, <laughs> open my door, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me decide if we're having sex. Yeah. How's that one? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be fun. That'd be cool. Theo, you got a problem if uh, if one of your uh, women pick you up and you got to go? Well, in the for car? me, it for me it makes me agitated because. <laughs> 
<laughs> the women that. drive, you know, real. You can't really uh, like unless it's Danica Patrick. Then all these other bitches drive real <laughs> questionably. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. So it's a lot of being patient when you're driving with them. You know, and I, I like to sit on the gas. I like to go for it. I like to take a chance at dying every time I get on an expressway. <laughs> and a lot of these ladies. Myself. Yeah, I'm thank you. Yeah. And I mean, a lot of these ladies aren't like that. They want to look around. They'll get to a stop sign and look around and shit. I'm like, what are we doing? Are we doing? You know? <laughs> you know this, that this you're a, so a, right about that because uh, I do like to uh, risk it all. Um, so yeah. when she's <laughs> driving and we're at a red left arrow. And there's no fucking cars around. Go. Go. Just yeah. fucking go. Go. But then yeah. it's a fight. It's scary. I can't believe you're asking me to do that. Bitch, go. Go. Yeah. It's a red <laughs> left. No one's here. I'm hungry. That That's why you got to make them take ways. Because ways of force you to, to stress you out. Yeah. Makes you take the shortcuts. Mm -hmm. People yeah, think no, I'm, man. I'm I don't a think rebel you... when I take the red left. Uh, I go hard. I go hard. Yeah, I go hard. I go. I I go if I don't care if stoplights are red or green. I go if there's no one around and I can go. Or if there is someone, if there's no police around, I go. I go, <laughs> and That's I keep going too. until I'm I get where I want I to be. I run bed. lights all the time. All the time. Don't understand that. Yeah. If, if I'm at the airport like four in the morning, there's nobody on the road. I do not wait for lights. None of nothing. the lights. They don't even exist in my world. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> People always ask me, "How'd you get here so fast?" There were no lights. No lights, man. Yeah. Not one fucking light. <laughs> Same, same. <laughs> but yeah, I think it also, if you take in somebody on a date, what, what about this? What do you guys do about picking the movie? Are you guys willing to go to a movie that your lady wants to go to? Or will you guys say, or will you guys say no? Be honest with me. I say no. Yeah, I, I, I don't say <laughs> no, but I, I make it very uncomfortable. Like that's something you should watch with your girlfriends. <laughs> yeah. Or I like yeah. to laugh. Or I'll say, you I like, like to say that a lot. I like to laugh. Yeah, Let's watch something that'll make us laugh. You like stupid shit like that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Just low-key insult him. Yeah. I'm like, really? <laughs> ah, that's yeah. pretty stupid. Yeah. That's All dumb. right. I'll watch it, though. <laughs> and the whole time, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Dumb. Yeah. All right. So moving on, one more relationship advice question. What's going on, Theo? What's going on, Brandon? I got some relationship advice I need. You know, my girlfriend, my first really serious relationship. She got me a don't touch me, but keep touching me hoodie for my birthday. Literally everything I asked for. Awesome birthday sash. You know, birthday girls wearing it on the slopes. Took me to Holiday Valley for the weekend. Wow. And, you know, every time I hang out with her, it's just... I learned something new about her. We laugh every time we hang out. She's she's just like my best friend. Mm, yeah. You know, we've been dating for about six months now. I've known her for a while, though. And I just, I, I don't know when it's time to say I love you. I feel like, I feel, I feel like, I, I feel it. I know she's kind of, she said it a couple times. Just like kind of slipped it in there with some stuff. I just, it's my first relationship, so I don't really know, you know. When I need to put it out there, because I sure. definitely feel it. I she sees me looking at her, you know, with my smile all grinny. And she knows I'm thinking it. Damn, bro. But like this I said, this dude's getting wet, bro. First relationship, so was, we got what it. Do I, Dude, yeah. drop the L yeah. bomb, Bubba. Yeah, drop bro. it like Hiroshima yeah. on that girl. Mm -hmm. Let's do this, man. Test the yeah. waters out. Um, here's another thing. We know you're in love. You're yeah. wearing a fucking <laughs> sash. Yeah. Yeah, and you spent six minutes telling yeah. us how in love you are. Yeah, yeah. man. Uh, <laughs> first of all, it's six months. Um, yeah. Ask us this question in a year. Yep. It's going to be different. Uh, yeah. you're actually, it's going to be a different phone call. Like, hey, I hate this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> really should advice. How do I break up with my girl? <laughs> yeah. No, he's, you're obviously in love. It, it also sounds like this is the first it's time new. you've ever yeah, been puppy love, in my love. Man. Yeah, drop the L bomb though. People think too serious with the L. -bomb. Yeah, I don't understand. I throw it, it around. I throw it around too. I, I, I told my that. I told my fucking uh, postmates, love you, man. Yeah, you know? man. Drop the food off. I son. say love you to everyone. I love saying love you to somebody, and they cringe like, oh, okay, yeah. they, like they don't know how to respond. Like, did anyone hug you? Yep. I say love you like hello. Yeah, I throw it around. Pretty loose. Yeah, I feel you around. there, man. I like to say I love you after I pay at those uh, 
places off the New Jersey Turnpike, you got to put that money to the man or whatever. I say, I love you right there, point blank. Oh, that's <laughs> to nice. Him. If it's man that's or nice. woman, you know. And, Theo, uh, Theo is a love guy. You think? Yeah. yeah, Theo says love you a lot, man. Thank you, bro. You do. He does. Thank you. Got depends depends you. what day you catch him in the week, but yeah. <laughs> Ah, he always says, love you, man, to me. You catch him on good days? Yeah. Different people get different reactions. (laughs) Yeah, that's fair. Um, (laughs) But I will say this, man. Yeah, dude, this dude, man, if you do any more stuff with this lady, she going to leave you because you're going to be with a man, bro. (laughs) You got to tighten up. You already wearing. Yeah, you're going to make. You got to do something, dude. You're wearing the electrical fucking onesie you got on right there you got to tighten up dude you know but here's the thing a lot of times guys will once a girl says it then a guy will just say it back without even thinking about it yeah then you stuck in a relationship for two years wondering if you really do you realize you don't and then you leave you know people put too much power in the word though it's it's all right to throw it out there yeah nick chin you tell your girls you love them yeah i kind of like uh (laughs) I mean, that's a no from Chip. <laughs> no, I've done it before, but not like we don't we don't say it often. And yeah, so you just buzzed. That. So it didn't really count. No, Nick, you gotta count. say I it. say wild shit when I'm buzzed. I say it. He doesn't say it. He needs oh. to I say it all the time. You gotta say it, man. Let her know, Chin. No, yes. Chin's a cold hearted fucking killer, man. Yep. I is did, that, did is your that, dad that, did your parents say it to you? Oh, I have so much love in my family. Huh, that's yeah, weird. I know, no, but the, yeah, I, I know, wait, I know wait. you have a lot of love, but, but did yeah. they, did they tell you they love you? Yeah, but Joe doesn't know that I I was friends with my girlfriend for like over twenty years before we started dating. Oh. So it's a weird thing. I, we said we love each other before, but now it's like in love. It's kind of a it's a, it's a tough one. Yeah, mm. but I am definitely I love her. Yeah, it doesn't sound like you're in love, <laughs> but we'll we'll figure that another day. Yeah, I don't know that's, if I would ensure this love. This question for him, like it's a Me tough either. position. Uh, it's not though. Throw it out there, dude. Don't put so much power in the word. It's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah, Chen. That sounds unreliable. It sounds like the I w- if I were an insurance agent, I don't know if I would give coverage on that <laughs> love policy of yours. <laughs> you would invest in his uh, love stock. You're saying? I just think it would be a really high premium. It sounds <laughs> uncertain. It sounds like the windows aren't fully sealed off. It yeah. sounds like they could only have some maybe twelve year shingling going on or something. Yeah. Yeah. As opposed to something small, something larger, uh, something longer time. I just don't know, man. I, I don't do you know. Think, you think he's insecure about something and he's not telling us directly? He might like I think men's. he's Japanese, dude, and they don't fucking say it. Uh, <laughs> are, you, are you talking about, Wait, you talking about Chin again? <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He said, yeah. He said, yeah. He said, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, to be honest, dude, they don't say, they never say anything, and then they fucking jump off a building or express themselves in crazy sex art or something. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's crazy. <laughs> Japanese. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> yeah, he's, I just want, yeah, let's, he's let's right. be honest. Feels if right we're going to talk tomatoes, let's talk tomatoes, bro. <laughs> yep. I love it, man. All right. Uh, you guys oh, yeah. Want, you guys want to play the name game? Oh, my boy. Let's hit it. This would be good, Jelly Roll. Aha, guess who's back? <laughs> Woo! What's up, Bubbas? I figured we'd do a thing today called the name game. In honor of President's Day, I want you both to list the name of every president you can name or think of. Can't wait to hear this one. <laughs> <laughs> Man. And uh, so this time we're actually going to put a timer on it. Chin's got it. Should we do 10 seconds? We're, uh, you three are going around the room. Theo, Brendan, and, and Joe trying to name okay. presidents. Okay. So what what do we do? What, one one president each, or we just all just st- one president? Each? Uh, yeah, yeah. One you second. go, I'll go. Theo goes. Okay, so we start now. Go ahead. Wait, wait. Yep. So, Abraham Lincoln. Okay, go. George Washington. Oh, easy one. Easy one. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with Grover Cleveland. Hard one. Wow. Yeah, he definitely looked this up before. JFK. He didn't have it. Stop. Ten seconds. Ten oh, seconds. Oh, no, 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 no. Ten seconds for each person. Oh. So, oh. so just like once once someone hits it. So keep going. JFK, Jesus Christ. How would you ever think that it's ten seconds for the whole game? <laughs> <laughs> no, <I don't>, <laughs> the <laughs> worst game <laughs> ever. <laughs> we should also yeah. would you yeah. ever think that? and name all the presents <laughs> in ten seconds. <laughs> How would you ever think it's ten seconds for the whole <laughs> game? He goes, oh, time, time. Nope, that's it. They only got three. <laughs> Jen, it's great. <laughs> like we he played said, this they don't game talk 40 much. times. Just do it. They we played the game much, 40 times, buttons, man. <laughs> My bad, Chen. You're right. You're a good guy. You're, right. good. <laughs> You're a good guy. Who's up? Me? Uh, yes. He said JFK. Yeah. You uh, George Washington. Oh, no. I'm sorry. You uh, fucking Bush. lost. Bush. <laughs> Bush. Oh, no. I want to keep going. So we'll, Bush. George Bush. Yeah, I was going to say George Bush. What? <laughs> but you didn't. <laughs> I got 10 seconds, though. <laughs> 
But if she's going to say something, <laughs> say say that. I got Bush. Go, Theo. All right, dude. I'll say Donald Trump. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, I'm going to say uh, Obama. Nice. I'll go with Biden. Nice. I'll go with um, Gerald Ford. Got it. Carter. Nixon. Nice. Oh. nice. All the reindeer fade on reindeer games. Sorry, that was just a joke. <laughs> um, I will go with uh, your boy, uh, Stephen Douglas. Ten seconds! What did you say? Stephen Douglas. Is Steve- <laughs> Stephen oh, Douglas? Did you just say one of the Douglases from yeah. the... Kirk Douglas <laughs> yeah. and Michael Douglas's younger brother, Stephen. Hey, is Stephen Douglas a Stephen president? Douglas, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh, Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Stephen. A. He was Douglas. a president. He was. Stephen A. Douglas was a go. senator. <laughs> no, he wasn't. He was a president, Nick. Of the nope. United States. Are you? I think so. We'll keep reading his wiki. I, I am. <laughs> yeah, just senator. Top billing, Senator Stephen A. Douglas. He looks presidential. Theo lost. Are me and, right, me and Joe out. keep Sounds going, like or do we just count yeah, Theo as a going. loser? Cheaters. Yeah, you, you guys can keep going if you, if you can. Creeps. Uh, Clinton. Uh, Biden. Nope, you already eh. said that. Joe, you winner. Damn, fuck it, Brendan. I'd like to get a <laughs> King of the Sting Brendan, uh, hoodie if I could. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll, we'll tell you some Coffee merch. Mugs. We're going to send you a, a Stephen Douglas presidential <laughs> oh, shirt. Oh, I love it. Please. <laughs> good. Bro, he was president of the South. That is true. Oh, is that true? Oh, nice. Which yeah. still so doesn't he was count. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Which is still Theo wrong. Pick someone from the Confederacy. Yeah, that was <laughs> weird, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look, my confederacy is confederacy of dunces. That's my favorite so one to funny. support. And that's written by Robert <laughs> after, after O'Toole. After Stephen Jackson, he was going to say, Colonel Mustard. <laughs> Colonel Mustard. <laughs> uh, you guys left uh, George W. Bush on the table. That was an easy one, but that's oh, yeah. pretty much all I could have gotten. Yeah. After um, that, whenever they, whenever the pitches start turning black and white, <laughs> that's when I forget. It gets a little dicey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. That was a fun one, though. Thanks, Jelly Roll. Thanks, Jelly Roll. Uh, um, I'll say this, man. Isn't it weird how, like, the people that remember you, even those people, like, uh, the, a legacy only lasts, like, so long. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's crazy, bro. There's a shelf date for everything. For The world for just keeps spinning. It just it, it, keeps going. Move on. Somebody dies, you're like, oh, my God, how are we going to move on? Yeah. We move on. We do move on real we, fast. We get back to business. Yeah. But, but even in entertainment, it's like stuff only has like after like an, another generation, no, but it's, it's gone kind of. It's done. You know? It's yeah. like, you know, when I have to explain to my son who Bo Jackson was, like he sees it in documentaries, but it was like, There's no clue. to me, I'm like, that was Superman. Do you not understand that? Well, it's that the same Superman. with like the LeBron Jordan. It's good that that the last dance doc came out. Came out, the yeah. Young kids could see it. I'm like, oh, Jordan was dope. It's like, yeah, yeah man, that's where the argument comes from. Mm-hmm. He's a clown my hound for us. Look clown on this hound, boys. First of all, it's a real hound. Not all these bullshit dogs you got on here. Pugs and fucking snickerdoodles and shit. <laughs> this is a raccoon trained dog. Second of all, it's a tax paying dog. He's won some money. PKC champion, UKC night champion. Pretty good one. Oh, yeah. And he does a service to the community. He gets rid of all them fucking little trash pandas running around oh shit the fuck damn is that? Is that dog huh? kill him too is that satan <laughs> no that's uh that's iris that guy's girlfriend still yelling in the background <laughs> <laughs> don't say my name <laughs> don't use our real name not our real name you stupid <laughs> Like then he tried to pretend like it wasn't believe. the real names. He's like, those aren't our real names. <laughs> yeah, he tried to cover up. He's like, babe, those aren't our real names. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, my God. Man. Hey, why would you need a dog official. to chase raccoons away? Is it that big of a fucking problem out I there? I thought we love raccoons. Yeah, I like a good raccoon. I love raccoons. They got the cool hands. I don't like this dog. <laughs> Me neither. What? More Fuck raccoons, this less dog. beagles. I love raccoons. Me too. They look like little burglars. Yeah, yeah man. They no. got the cute hands. They got real hands. Yeah, yeah, real hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. They hold carrots and yeah. stuff. They hold. Co- I seen one hold a coffee mug. Yeah, they go through your trash. Who gives a yeah, fuck? Yeah, who gives a fuck? It's trash. Yeah. That's why he threw it away. Fuck your dog. dog. Nah, nah, man. This dog is obviously, he said it won some awards, you idiot. Oh. And what I'm going to say is this. Sorry, I was talking to Brendan. I mean, uh, and what I'm going to say is this though? also. What that's competition nature's- was this? 
<laughs> nope. But dude, Theo, rac- why do you want to kill a raccoon for? They're violent. Their mother nature is fucking homeless people, dog. They're violent <laughs> beasts. They sneak in your house at night. They'll steal your sugar. They'll take your fucking kid if they could drag it off. They don't give a damn. I doubt They're, that highly, Theo. You're full of shit. Look, they walk, man. More, more people. They walk. They yeah. stand on their feet and walk. Yeah, they'll take away your like empty trash. They'll trash? take away goodwill clothing. They're great, I don't man. Know. More people when die I was, from dogs. Yeah, dude. Look how cute that is. Look, he just got was soap. I guess so, oh, sugar. It was sugar, I think. Look at that. You want to kill that, Theo? Fuck you. Looks like a little burglar, what? man. Bro, they have HIV on their paws, dude. They <laughs> are going it. through a lot. No, they go through a lot, dude. There's videos of them using intravenous drugs. <laughs> There's videos of them uh, doing sex outside. There's one smoking crack in India. There's a lot of videos of these animals on the internet doing yeah. not yeah, cool things, man. Row. I've seen that. Yeah, you I, see them I at have Skid Row that, out I, there? I, I still have compassion. <sighs> there are a lot of diseases, too. I mean, aren't all animals, though, outside? They all carry some shit, man. Yeah, man. But these homies are about that life, fam. These bitches are about that life, you know? Dude, some people have a real fear of raccoons. I don't get it. I don't get it. They're the cutest fucking things yeah, in the I world. I say fuck that dog. I want to keep... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well... I think as long as they let them fight, if I, uh, raccoons and animals should be able to... What I don't like is they go hide, and then they they play this kind of like cat and mouse game. I would like to see them really go at it, almost like they do with those fist fights in the backyard, those backyard fights. Oh, that'd be Ooh, cool. That'd be a little nice. panda Street fight beats. league? Yeah, a little Street pay-per-view. Street panda fight league? Yeah. I like that. Pay-per-view? Mm, yeah, just, but not much. Not okay, much. cool. Not- a dollar. <laughs> you know, we just got hit by a winter storm out here, and we're in the winter. And so if you want the winner, baby, they got it. Mother Nature's serving that shit up. One icy spoonful at a time. So you got to take care of your yard right now. And I'm not talking about your yard that's outside of your home. I'm talking about that body yard, baby. Hair, body hair. And the lawnmower 3.0 trimmer is the best hygiene tool for the modern man. Treat your dick in your body. Treat your different cracks and crevasses. Treat them right. Whack them out. Get the best tool for the job. Don't get cold feet this winter. Take care of your body. Bust it out. Clean it up. Get 20% off and free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash king sting. That's right. 20% off with free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash king sting. The 20% off free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash king sting. Thanks, Manscaped, for making our winter body look so good. It's not quite that time for March Madness. You know, I'm an LSU men's basketball uh, fan. And mildly an aficionado, I would say, if I'm going to get real Italian about it. And one of my favorite things to do is watch them play ball, watch them boys play. And right now, America's top-rated sportsbook app is giving all new players the chance to cash $100. That's right. New customers can bet $1 on any team to hit a three-pointer in any basketball game this week. And if your team makes it, you rein in $100. That's it. It takes one three-pointer being hit by your chosen team to turn $1 into $100. Sounds like a no-brainer. This slam dunk of an offer won't be around for long. DraftKings has paid out over $7 billion to its customers since 2012. So they know a thing or two about big paydays. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code KATS. To get your shot to turn $1 into $100 when you bet on any team to hit a three-pointer in any basketball game this week. That's promo code KATS for new customers to get a shot at 100 to 1 odds on any basketball team to hit a three-pointer. Only DraftKings Sportsbook. Must be 21 years or older, New Jersey, Indianapolis, Michigan, or VA only. New customers only. Restrictions apply. Winnings paid out in four $25 free bets. See DraftKings.com slash Sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call one 800 Gambler in Indiana or 1 800 9 with it in VA. You know what I'm saying? Call 888 532 35. Move on to some King or Stingers. Brandon, yeah. Theo, what's going on? Culture Corner, shout out you guys as well. Nick Chin, love everyone there. I got a uh, King or Stinger for you guys. So, cryptocurrency, we were seeing it all over the place. Bitcoin a few years back blew up. Everyone made a fortune except for me. Uh, <laughs> now we got this Dogecoin hitter, this meme hitter. So uh, I want to know what you guys think about cryptocurrency. Let me know. King it or sting it. Gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. 
I love it. Can I say something real quick? Yeah, please. The mm-hmm. oldest, youngest face in the world. <laughs> yeah. This guy weird. is 46, 17. Yeah, the <laughs> Benjamin Button. Yeah. Right? Like, the I don't fuck know. is this, dude? <laughs> He's got grandkids, but he gets carded to the movies. <laughs> yeah, it is strange. You're <laughs> right. 46, 17 He's, over here. He's 46, here. Yeah. 17 years old. Yeah, it's tough to Hey, tell. man, I just want to, you know, I want you guys to roast me. I'm retiring from uh, 27 <laughs> years at the post office. <laughs> Who is this guy? It's a great point. <laughs> I, I, I don't know question. much about crypto. I know uh, Elon Musk swears by it. It's weird to me when actors and shit demand payment in crypto. Dude, just take the fucking cash and buy your own crypto. Well, it's, it's that fucking easy. Yeah, I don't understand crypto either. Yeah, I don't I, shop online. I like dollars. <laughs> uh, I like to stack my dollars. I like to wrap my dollars. <laughs> um, I'm not, and plus, I don't want to get. I don't want. I don't want to fall into this internet style lifestyle. You need. I yeah. want that to be a choice. If I want to buy something online, I'll do it. But I want to be online completely. My my everything. No, my, and can my people wo- hack into it? Yeah, they you know can what I'm hack saying? It to like, it. yeah, I don't if it's internet shit. based, I don't know who's controlling this fucking thing. Who owns it? It's not a real bank. And you know what else? I want to make fun of other people's money. You know what I mean? Yeah. The American dollar is so dope. When you go to other countries, like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, <laughs> that's not a dollar. Yep. But with crypto, everyone's got the same shit. So yeah, that's a good point. And you, you, you got to remember your uh, password too for crypto. Like, do you see that one criminal got yeah. caught and he had like seventeen million, but they were trying to get his password and he couldn't remember it. Yeah. So the money just it's stays just, there. It's, it's floating. Just gone. It's an iCloud. Yep. I'm good with that. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, man. Everybody, and this young fella or, or sir. <laughs> he he said a while back that like it, it blew up a few years ago and everybody made money but him. I, everybody I, I know lost three thousand dollars. Bro, five years ago. exactly. Everyone I know lost money. Yeah, I don't know yeah. anyone who's made bank off. Not Bitcoin. one. And everyone keeps talking about oh, it's making so much money. I'm like, no one hit it when it made that jump. It sounds like the yeah. trendy thing to say. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but the jump is definitely. Look, I'm in. I'm in on a couple coins. You know, I'm in on some uh, Tron. I'll be honest. I'm in on a little bit of Nano and a little bit of Algorand, bro. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> you know, I'm on. I'm in on some ETC and some ETH, bro. I went deep. Wow. So, yeah, I'll admit that I'm fucking mild. I'm exposed. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's de- it's definitely fascinating. But it's like if it all disappeared tonight, I would have no one to call, yep. no one to ask. No- and also, then here's the crazy part: I don't even know if I would admit to people that I'd lost the money because I'd be ashamed. Yeah. That's so fair. then you have a ton of people just ashamed that they threw their money into a fucking wishing well that they don't even get to sit on the side of and have a cigarette. So yeah, you know. a digital wishing well. Yeah, if your money or you forget your password, what's customer service? Yeah, that sucks. I mean, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? There's nothing, I still have, I have an iPhone 8 that I kept because I couldn't get the password. Yeah. <laughs> so just if I'm holding on to this iPhone 8, imagine if I have $25,000 worth of cryptocurrency. Dude, I still it's have, just floating. Oh, yeah. I still have Hotmail. I still have Yahoo. Hell yeah. Holy Let shit. me tell you this. Let me tell you this mind blower right here, uh, Yokoi. Yes. Uh, Brendan doesn't have a YouTube account. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, oh, I don't have a personal one. I have it for my YouTube shows. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking yeah, crazy, that's, uh, right? Is that are, are you dumb? I'm sorry, <laughs> that's crazy, right? Well, no, because well, look, let's see what have that. Yeah, let's put just, that on the uh, IG swipe up and see I what people vote. Okay, yeah. you you you're like reminding me of my dad when uh, CDs came out. He's like, yeah. never, <laughs> never. That's just the fad. That's what my dad said. <laughs> CDs. <laughs> yeah, I should probably do one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it just blows my mind every day when I'm like, oh, man, I'm like, I want to, I don't know. I just want him to be in, like, it, it just blows my mind. <laughs> that blows my mind. Oh, I meant to tell you, Theo, Boston uh, sent me a, a season to assist for you because you keep leaving comments on the pictures of him. He said it's starting to Bro, creep him out a little bit. Because he's off. fine as fuck, son. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Comment that he's an ugly child? Anytime I post my, my son, Boston, who's one, Theo gets on there like, damn, Shoddy got back. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he's beautiful. She's that diamond in the rough, fam, you know? I'm just saying, man. He he asked me to tell you to back off a little bit before he gets authorities involved. <laughs> what I said the other day was nice. What I put on there? Y'all taking my dime to the bank, eh? <laughs> 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 That's great. 
<laughs> and even if you look at the picture on his face, he's wondering what's going on, dog. <laughs> That's you know what so I'm saying? Funny. Even he's a little concerned that these freaking wild boys got him out on this trail, you know? By I'll the way, this you, isn't boo. Brendan's uh, Instagram. It's someone else's. Yeah, I post on someone else's. <laughs> oh, oh Theo, you, you go, missed right. a post on February 6th. You got to go comment on. Oh, no, I got in there somewhere. <laughs> I got in there. Yeah, he's deep. He was probably one, number one. <laughs> you, you usually show up top for me. I was pretty late maybe on it. That's great. You know, I try not to comment on everything. I know she, I know, you know. She's got a yeah, because you'll own. get flagged. <laughs> yeah, they're 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 uh, flagging child predators now yeah, on Instagram. Kid, oh, which that which look we didn't even get to vote on that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll do it. I'll, I'll definitely I'll back off a little, man. <laughs> I say stay consistent, Theo. <laughs> Just I get do. Tiger you, likes it, but you know, little one's getting uh, he's getting worried, man. You know yeah, what? I'm going to start chiming in. <laughs> do it. Thank you, yeah, good man. boy. <laughs> oh yeah, you got to see this do hottie it. dog. You got to see this hottie. <laughs> What's up, Cats crew? Uh, I got a king of the stinger for you guys. Um, that surgery hitter, that body repair. Ooh, uh, so this is the elbow, um, two plates, two screws, nine pins, and a six-inch rod in the forearm. Uh, it's two the plates? Rod that's I've Brenda. Ever had put inside of me. I don't recommend it. I don't like it. Um, probably never going to happen again. Um, so, yeah, the question uh, is king of the sting it. Um, the surgeries. Uh, sometimes they can help. Uh, sometimes they can be harmful throughout the rest of your life. Yeah. Uh, so mm. let me know what you guys think. Uh, gang, gang, bows, bows. Does it, anyone have plates in here? Uh, I have the worst accident ever. What? What was it? Mm. Compound femur fracture, broken tibula and fibula. How'd you do it? Motorcycle. Whoa. Oof. And my my bone stuck out about two inches. That's no. Dangerous. It's probably like the whole bone was sticking out. Um, you want to see it? Yeah. Yeah. Let me show you. It's oh, so I thought you disgusting. Had, yeah, I want to see that, but I thought you had a picture of the bone sticking out. No, no, I'm going to pull it out. You ready? Let's see I'm that cock, this. Daddy, while you at it, huh? Oh, looks like bone, a shark bite. That's where the bone came Ooh. from. Damn. Damn. That's a tough Touch spot to bone. break. Damn. Oh, wow. The worst. How long ago was that? Oh, man, I was 15. Oh. <laughs> worst accident ever. So surgery. Oh, there's that's me. Oh my that's god! Before and after, after the Apple accident, bro. that's my sister. At least you got a little Burger King out of the deal. Yeah, man. My sister was a G, man. She she moved out of the house. She was already moved out at that point. I think she was seventeen or something. Wow. And uh, and she was working at uh, Wendy's full time, but I didn't like Wendy's, <laughs> and she kept bringing me. And I kept asking for Burger King, and she came literally every other day and brought me Burger King. How oh. long were you in the hospital? Oh my god, three months. Oh. Yeah, I was in oh. there forever. And now you have a metal rod in there. No, they, they, they were able to save my leg. You know, I still remember my doctor's name, man, Dr. Wigman. Wow. He was a G, man. He let me curse in the, in the, uh, in the operating room. And I remember I was just cursing at him because he wouldn't let me sleep. I go, just let me sleep. I want to go to sleep. He goes, we got to keep you up, kid. Jesus. So I started cursing. He goes, go ahead, call me whatever you want. Say whatever word you want. And I kept cursing, calling him all kinds of, they kept laughing. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I still remember his name. He saved my leg. He goes, I'm going to try and save your leg without putting any rods in there because I was 15. Yeah. He goes, Good on him. He goes, man. I don't want. Yeah. And he did it. He did it. Theo, you, have you had any surgeries besides that hair transplant? <laughs> uh, I love surgery. Um, but I can't believe you had three months at 15 years old yeah. when you were in the hospital. You, you see those little bars, Theo? The, the bars with all the little bolts and shit they had to build yeah. you got to remember this is 1984 so advancement was like it's not like it is now so yeah. they built like this structure they had maintenance build this structure and uh they drilled a hole through my shin and oh. put a pin through it and then they clamped the ends of the, the 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 rod and pulled it with weights so they build like this traction pulley system on this little housing thing that they did and literally pulled my leg straight and who's your doctor Jeff dr wigzos i know but he said, if we if we do this, we can uh, we don't have to worry about uh, a rod. He goes, I really want to like you know pull the legs straight and let it grow together slowly, Jesus and that's what Christ. that's what happens. Damn, what do you have to? I bet you have to get an erection with a damn pulley now. Yeah, huh? I jerked off. I jerked off so many times. <laughs> You'd have Amen, to. Bro. I had to, bro. I was going crazy. Oh, you can't let them win, bro. You can't let them win. No, couldn't let them win. Um, I would like to say, uh, would this guy ask us about? <laughs> Surgeries. Oh, yeah. I like surgery. 
I like it because you go there, they care about you, they're nice, they feed you, they put you to sleep, they wake you up. It's almost like going through like a child infancy again or childhood, you know, it's like the childhood you miss. They come and check on you every now and then, you know, they're nice, some of them's hot, some of them's thick. They got all kind of people coming in there and uh, they give you meds, they make sure you're okay, can you read, they take you for a walk. It's, I, I really, I, 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 I prefer it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate the hospitals at all costs. Avoid yeah. Them. Hate them. Hate them. What, what was the last surgery you had to go in? <sighs> My nose. Oh, really? Not like a cool Hollywood nose. Yeah. I had uh, Mirko Krokop smashed it with his elbow. So I had to have re, uh, reconstructive surgery on my nose. Jesus. How long did it take to heal up? Quite some time. That's a bad surgery. Because they got to put these like stents in there. And they put mm -hmm. uh, stitches to keep it straight until it meshes and heals. And then they they got to cut it and yank those out. Yeah. Oh. That's terrible. Joe, you ever rode a motorcycle since? Yeah, I just got on one uh, about two months ago, three months. What? Smart. For the first time. Was it time. scary? I like it's no, I just idea. wanted to do it. I just wanted to see if I, I still had it in me. Did you? Yeah, but I didn't want to do what I used to do. No, you had, you had too much going on, man. Yeah. And is there a lot of pressure in the – in the? and I'm, not, I'm just going to go out on a short bonsai limb here and say, <laughs> is there a lot of pressure in the Asian community to do tricks on motorcycles? Uh, I believe so. <laughs> We're just not allowed to talk about it. We don't say much. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I might say the wrong thing and commit suicide. You know that, Theo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I knew it. <laughs> Let's see what this guy has to say. My name's Robbie. I'm from Stroud, England. Shout out to the pride of Stroud, Brendan. Theo, you look like a single butch mother of three <laughs> that likes to play rugby in her spare time. <laughs> if you've ever been in a group chat in the UK with your mates, the chances are you've probably been bullied at some point. <laughs> so king it or sting it. Offensive, friendly banter. Gang gang. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Butt nugs. Oh, oh, that's, wow. my, that's my mama's hometown, Stroud. Really? Yep, born and raised. Oh, I think yep. any, uh, just to start off, if you don't mind. No, please. Anyone that has a, a video and the, the frame shows that they're wearing a soccer shirt. Always from the UK. <laughs> Good chance. Always from the UK. <laughs> They're balls and, uh, deep in soccer out there. Yeah, man. Yeah. Balls, he's got a Chevrolet logo on his chest. Yeah. <laughs> Make a decision, man. Dude, who wears a shirt while they take a dump? First of all, what pervert, <laughs> right? <laughs> what? What? Are you one of those what? guys that you go, you go naked, Theo? Dude, what freaking... West Essex pedophile wears a fucking shirt while they take a poop, man. <laughs> so you this take everything definitely... off, Theo? I, I'll take mo I take everything off that I can. If there's a place to set a shirt, bro, or hang on the doorknob, I will, even if I'm at Starbucks or That's something. That's insane. That's cool, man. That's insane. Yeah. That is not cool. That's insane. What? So, so so you're you 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 really think you're outside like an animal <laughs> when you shit. You I just I can't shit well if there's things like holding my body back. Wow. You know? I don't want anything constricting my blood flow. I want to be able to fucking shit like a king, dude. Yeah. Like Kamaru Usman. <laughs> <laughs> sure. You know? Yes. Sure. And that, that G-Star uh, hoodie is restrictive? All of it is, man. Anything that like, just stops me up in here, I want to be able to fucking put my arms up if I really need leverage on this thing. I fucking shit like a G, dog. Not like one of you little hoes, bro. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, sure. It sounds like you're giving birth. Yeah. It's, it doesn't sound like you're taking a shit, Theo. Like you need to go see a doctor. Yeah. Well, I don't poop every day like a lot of people. I poop probably three times a week. Preach. What? I poop. Yeah, I, I shit like about three times a day. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm bro. not even making that up. You're getting after it, huh? What are you, a machine gun? Yeah, man. My toilet hates me. Yeah. <laughs> my toilet's like, you again? You do work. I fuck it up, bro. You're like a rabbit. That's crazy. I, I don't like doing that. I like to let it get let it get compact and let it fucking. And then you actually are serving legitimate poop. I'm not out here just fucking, you know, uh, soft serving every afternoon like some fucking little. Wait, so you're building it up? So you, so you know you have to shit on Tuesday, but you purposely hold it off till Wednesday. Is that what you're saying? You only have to shit for about 15 minutes, then it goes away, dude. I don't give in to the first sign of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> what the he like, fuck? He likes, he likes to challenge himself. Man. Okay. I don't. So it's a it's game easy. for you. It's a mental game for Theo. 
it's just like I don't know. I find that the whole thing works better for my body. It's my bo- my body knows it doesn't have the easy way out all the time. Yeah, show that show that shit. Who's boss? Am I right? Yeah, so, I mean something like that. I mean that's an easy way to say it, but yes. <laughs> Do we even answer that guy's question? Oh, he's saying group chats like you and your buddies roasting each other? Yeah. I oh, guess yeah, several of those. It's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Here's Darren Till got off the roids right here. Let's see what he's got to say. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Brennan, Theo, Kat, Jen, uh, Nick? I uh, have a king it or sting it. Um, taking baths as a man. Um I am 32 years old. I, it's been about five years, honestly, since I've taken a bath. Um, I shower. Uh, when I bought my house, I, it came with a, you know, pretty big, one of those jacuzzi bathtubs. Um, it's about six and a half feet long. I am six one, so, you know, trying to take a bath when you're that you know baths as a grown ass man gang gang buzz buzz baby where's the time for a bath get a hot tub daddy yeah come on now yeah boom hot tub hot tub I'm bath. And you just what? sit in your own filth. Yeah, what are, weird. Yeah, that's man. disgusting. Get the fuck out of here, you have dude. ass, ass, dude, yeah, uh, come on. dingleberries and stuff human, floating in there. That human soup. I hate it when you clean your asshole in the bath and then you dunk your head to wash your head. Yeah, what the sense. fuck are you doing? <laughs> that's Take called a that shower. finishing touch, bro. You got to do it. You got to write a passage, bro. So you're you're into bath. I mean, I think if you got to take a bath, I'd do like a seasonal bath, you know, around the holidays, Thanksgiving, when I got a little extra time or something, I'll bath out. Mm. Mm. I'm not a bath guy. I don't know. I'm not a bath guy. You know, I don't mind it. I just, I think it's, uh, it, when I was young, I, the heat didn't bother me as much. I'd be in there, you'd be in there three, four hours, you know, and drinking water. I'd drink as much as I could, pee it out, <laughs> drink more. You know, you'd be in there two or three hours just learning about how your body works. <laughs> but as an adult, the, the thing I notice as an adult, the heat really gets me. The heat of the water, if it's too hot, gets me. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a good point, Theo. Yeah, man. <laughs> Don't you think or no? <laughs> it's the heat. Yeah. I didn't even think yeah. about it. I, I thought it was the asshole dingleberries. Yeah, it's the dirty water. <laughs> that's yeah, what it gets me, in. man. Uh, not so much the heat, just the things that were in my butthole floating in the water now. <laughs> And Dude, the, those are the, the loose some... hairs from my thigh and balls. Yeah, that, that's floating why a hot tub top. filters all that shit out. You got the jet <laughs> flowing. Yeah. If you're ever Bro. wondering if a bath is bad as an adult, when you drain the water, look at the sides of your tub. Yeah. <laughs> that was floating in the water. Correct. Into your mouth. Bro, those are just lost villagers on the uh, on the ocean of uncertainty, dog. You got to <laughs> fucking stay in there and ride it out. Yeah, Theo, Theo <laughs> drinks that water. Dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, you, your immune system is in, incredible. Oh yeah, if you had a, if you had half a gallon of your own warm bath water, dog. Oh, oh. COVID COVID's for hose, bro. Yeah, I feel <laughs> sick. What else you got, Nick? Uh, a couple more debate clubs, and then we'll close it out. Uh, this is Tiny's Tacos TV returning. Uh, oh, they're the best, man. I, bro, did they ever send in some more tacos for us, dude? My team uh, can't find them. They 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 I, they DM'd them on Instagram, and then we never heard back. We got Max Holloway on this Friday. You fucked up, Tiny Tacos. Is it Tiny Let's Tacos? Let's talk Tiny. Tiny's Damn. Tacos TVs. Uh, we, we have their email. Maybe they didn't see that last episode because that was Patreon only, so they'll definitely see this. Uh, get in touch with us. Reach out again. I'll do a recording. What up? We're back, bitches. It's your boy, Leo H2O. I'm Tiny. We got another debate club for you. Oh, yeah. So today, we're making a specialty taco for a possible serial killer. Mm-hmm. And... <laughs> Uh, only fans royalty <laughs> on the red corner yes. we've got that crimson chin taco mm-hmm. it's a korean barbecue oh, taco yes. inspired by chin himself the serial killer it's beef <laughs> bulgogi pickled carrot and daikon Oof. drizzled with that sangjang hopefully i'm saying it correctly sangjang Chin will correct me or kill me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and on the blue corner, we got that only cats, only fans, only taco, only on only fans. That hooks me. Inspired by a Vietnamese dish, bao sao sao up. 
and I asked two oh, Vietnamese dang. co-workers, and they said I was, said it pretty good. <laughs> you pretty so good. I think I'll be all right. Yeah, I think you're good. So yeah, on that, good. we got beef, lemongrass, garlic, oyster sauce, fish sauce, mm. Thai chilies, mm. brown pepper, lime juice, and then Ooh. we're going to top that bad like boy off with on pickled me. cucumber, onion, carrot, and then we're going to have a little dip dip with the nao chum, which is a garlic, sugar, lime, fish sauce, green onion, and chili. Dipping sauce with some vinegar, you know what I'm saying? Damn, praise God! Sprinkle that with some <laughs> herbs. Sprinkle that on my dick, fam. That shit is tight. Right. Yeah, Cilantro. Man, put that down the and hatchet. That looks chiso. fantastic. All in a oh. handmade tortilla. Mm. So, let us know. The crimson chin taco? Or that only cats, only fans taco, only on OnlyFans. <laughs> gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Yeah, I love these cool. guys. They man. should love. have That's Culture great. Corner some episode. I'm going to say before we even start, there's only one way to find out. I think we got to get these bad yeah. boys to bring some in. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because hey, just from the looks, around, I'm going to go with that Richard Ramirez taco. That yeah. serial killer taco looks fantastic. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Korean barbecue myself. Yep. Man. Ooh, that was, that, was, nice. that was amazing. The cats only fans available only on OnlyFans <laughs> looks yeah. decent. But yeah. That, that Richard that look, Ramirez I, is fantastic. That was beautiful. I like that hoof meat, bro. I like that hoof meat on that OnlyFans feet only, feet first OnlyFans. Yeah, if, if, <laughs> so, it, if it's a cat's OnlyFans only available on OnlyFans taco, cat needs to step on your taco <laughs> before you eat it. Dude, yeah. I want it to be foot closed. I want it to yeah, be closed with that hoof, foot baby. Closed. You know, she's gonna be on uh she's gonna be on first we feet coming up. <laughs> <laughs> that was an easy joke. <laughs> so. uh, we got uh, one more. Or actually, but look, man, more. I'd say, look, let's bring these freaking, bring them in. Yeah, bring these up, beautiful Nick. Latinos in, and then get, let's their get email these too, killers in the studio, and let's, yeah, let's eat them on. Let's eat. Uh, let's get the food on uh, and judge in person, and then yeah, get them on food truck, B. Yeah, I will, man. Awesome. Damn, don't slip on our fucking Mexican friends, bro. <laughs> Two weeks, they're gonna be in here. Brendan Theo, oh, God. debate club for you. Jackie Chan movies. First Jet Li movies. Which were your favorite? Who's better? Also, Theo, you live in Nashville. That's only four hours from St. Louis. Come up. Our comedy clubs are open. Gang Gang, Terrible Buzz comedy Buzz. Club. <laughs> Awful comedy clubs. <laughs> but yeah, go up there, Theo. Uh, what's the Hold name on. of them? Oh, you have you been it. to the one? Yoko, have you been to the one in the basement there? The yep. St. Louis Funny Bone where you, uh, this, they allowed cigarette smoke? Oh, I think I've been to that one. I'm not. Gonna, I, I, I'm not going to say the. One. I don't want to say the name of it, but the one I went, the one I was at, uh, they painted their logo on the wall. Do you, oh, you know what I'm talking about? And Joey Diaz warned me several times not to go there, and I didn't <laughs> listen to him. And I went, and then after he goes, "I told you, cocksucker." <laughs> <laughs> it was a nightmare. Bro, they used to have this one club there, and uh, and thanks for the call, brother, and thanks for the invite. Um, where the first, it, it sat about two two twenty five, I bet, but the first two shows or the or the late two shows were smoke you could smoke indoors and it was low oh ceilings God. like seven foot and after about 20 minutes you couldn't see past the first row <laughs> it was just full smoke fog style man yeah i thought that was shit was wild. illegal since like 1980 not in st louis smoke indoors some of that midwest don't fuck around yeah they, they don't, don't get them fuck out there man yeah you ready to die who's ready to die uh, I don't really fuck with Jet Li to answer his question. I'm not a huge Jet Li fan. Well, he killed his dad on accident. Jet Wait, Li did? What? I think so, didn't he? In that movie, remember? Oh, in the movie. Oh, God, in damn the movie. it, Theo. Yeah. You got to start that off like yeah, that. Dude. No, on the movie set, bro. He killed his father. Who? Oh, so oh really? you're, you're thinking of Bruce Lee. Brandon yes. Lee got shot on the set of Crow on accident. Well, look, man. Leezy come, Leezy go, bro. One of these oh, motherfuckers shot the other one. <laughs> okay. Somebody at least put killer by him. One of them fucking killed the other one, dog. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Jet Li has two movies that I know of. I can, I can't name a Jet Li movie. I can name two: Lethal Weapon Four and uh, Romeo Must Die. Must Die. I because Jackie Chan. You got Rumble in the Bronx. Yeah. You got the movies with Chris Tucker. Yes. Which are great. Yes. There's like three of those. Did you really say the movies with Chris Tucker? Yeah, it's Chris, you, Tuck, it's Chris Tucker's movie. What you know the name of the movie? Well, so. I don't. It's Rush Hour. Rush Hour. 
Are you kidding me right now? Yeah, sorry, dude. Okay. <laughs> yeah, especially Brendan, if you're going to dress like a Rush Hour fan every day, you should at least know the fucking... <laughs> you should at least know the name of the movie. <laughs> And then he okay. did Rush Hour with Owen Wilson, and it was called Shanghai Nights. Oh, it no. Like, oh, oh, yeah. It was, like, the exact same thing. What was it called? Shanghai Nights. They were, like, cowboys. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That was a good movie. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty funny. Good. Yeah. Um, what else did uh, Jackie Lee... Uh, uh, Jackie <laughs> Lee. <laughs> Sorry. What man. else did Jackie Lee do? What in Jackie the Lee? fuck? I'm, I'm off today. The waitress at that place. Who are you talking about? Theo, it. you can't talk. You said Lee Lee, Jason Lee, <laughs> PPTT. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? The only thing yeah, but I don't you're know. Yeah, at least mine's an honest mistake. Yours is just racist. Yeah, yours is like, hey. Yours is like you're back at the Kid Rock party. Yeah, you said yours, <laughs> and right after you went, Steven Jackson was the best president. <laughs> he, he was my president of he the South. He was my president. Cheek Lee, Chunk Lee, Bunk Lee. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Steven Jackson for president. <laughs> <laughs> you asshole! Uh, Look, I don't know who you gonna go with. I'm gonna uh, say Jackie Chan all day. Jackie Chan all day. Rumble in the Bronx. Mm. Great movie. I Rush love, Hour. Fantastic. I, I love the Rush Hours. But you, I'm, no one will forget. Uh, well, I guess obviously you guys. Did, <laughs> Jet, <laughs> Lee, will. Jet Li, Lethal Weapon Four was amazing. He was good. and He carried uh, the beads. Yes. Yeah, he didn't talk, but I hear you. He didn't he talk. Didn't, yeah. But God. He damn, didn't talk he though. You know. He didn't talk at all. <laughs> yeah. He didn't say a single word. He Not just, one just, fucking word. He just rotated beads in his hands. And yes. If someone got close, he'd strangle him with the beads. That's true. Yeah, but so, Jackie Chan did talk, and we still didn't understand. Yeah. But yeah. at least he's trying, though. You know. Man, that's true. <laughs> what about Bobby Lee? Bobby Lee, Bobby, Bobby Lee is amazing. Bobby Lee is amazing. I will go with Bobby Lee. I'll if go with I Bobby pick, Lee for the Yeah, win. if I pick out of the three, Bobby Lee is the best uh, kung fu Fighter? movie star. Agree. Uh, ever. Why hasn't Bobby Lee done a kung fu movie, I wonder? Dude, that would be amazing. Probably because the, the the call time's not 1 p.m. in the afternoon. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, and you also, you also need to know kung fu. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of two <laughs> two no nos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fact that there's a call time at all. Yeah. It doesn't matter what time it is. But. Did you know yeah. Jet Lee and Bobby Lee are related though? I just found that out. It's the I'll craziest shit. That. No way. Yeah, I found out uh when did we find out, Chen? <laughs> <laughs> Last week? It's only it's within the Asian community. <laughs> there's a newsletter. Like, yeah, we get a newsletter. Asian it's actually virus. it's an actual newsletter that's in a scroll. It's oh, a scroll <laughs> and someone hands it to you. And then someone else reads it. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, man. it's pretty cool. <laughs> the truth comes out. <laughs> the the Tiger Belly producer, George Kimmel, lived next door as a child to uh, Muhammad Ali. Uh, and mm. Muhammad Ali would come over and read him the Quran and stuff. It's, wow, like, that's yeah. cool. it's like the craziest story ever. So it means ever. he grew up rich, though. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. That's cool. Wow. Very rich, that's huh? Really cool. Yeah. So that's the thing. That's all we got. <laughs> That was Mr. Fun. Joe Coy. That was fun. Fun, right? I had a fun blast. show, man. I wish Theo was here. Me too. Yeah, you know? me too. We want to live in Nashville. Let's live in Nashville. Fucking train. Well, I'll be living back there as soon as it's open. It's just not. Dude, we're, we're listen. Wanna... Newsom's getting recalled, baby, and we're the restaurants open up next week, twenty five percent capacity. You know? Yeah. Comedy store La Jolla is opening up. They just hit me up. We open it up, dog. Y'all still got them hot state taxes going though. <clears throat> yeah, man. Them bitches you, you are get what hot. you pay for. You get what you pay for. How's the fucking snow out there in the one club to get up every weekend? Yeah. How's that street you get to visit every now and then for uh, entertainment? Yeah. How's the <laughs> one road that you can go to to eat a steak? Yeah. How's those <laughs> bars all located in one place? Yeah. Filled with white people listening to country music. How's that? Yeah. How sharing each other's pie holes? <laughs> How are those bicycles that chicks ride to drink? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, those are the worst. Yeah, all the bachelorette parties. You know, oh, look, there's the a lot of place fucking for definite. Parties. Oh, yeah. There's 100%. a lot of definite no's in the area, I think. <laughs> um, I will say this. The best PB and uh, what was it? It was uh, PBR and a bologna, a fried bologna sandwich was at a bar 
in uh, Nashville, and I went there all week while I was at the uh, what's the name of that club? Zanies. Zanies. I was at Zanies. I went to that bar every night. Listen, the best thing in Nashville wow. is the moonshine cherries. Ooh. If you want to get fucked up off of about three cherries, yeah. moonshine cherries. Moonshine cherries. Damn. You ever had moonshine, yeah. Mr. Vaughn? I had it when I was young. Yeah, I had something that fucking one of my buddies it fucked his eyes up. Yeah, that's that hooch. That ain't moonshine. Mm. This shit fucked his eyes up, dude. But he could, he could blow start a damn pressure washer, though. I will give him that. That's so, cool. <laughs> well, is that it? That's it. I'm in Tampa next weekend, next Friday, Saturday, Tampa, Florida. Then after that, I'm in Cleveland. Hilarities, March 11th. Ooh, that's such a good. I club. know Nick, the owner, the oh. best. Cleveland Hilarities, March 11th through 13th. I'm back to back Damn. to back weekends, and then I'm in Spokane, Washington. Spoken. He said spoken, spoken. By the way, Spokane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For my B day. Oh, is it March Aww. 18th? That's a good club too. That's Spokane Comedy, Comedy club. club. Yeah, yeah. they don't break down too. Yeah, I yep. love those guys. My hometown, Tacoma Comedy Club. They oh, own that. that. That's they your own hometown that, club. Right? Yep. Wow. Good I, people. My mom was moving up there. I forgot to tell you that. Tacoma, right outside Tacoma. Wow. Wow. I told her just drop your name. What's that festival they have yeah, every year? Can. Don't they have like a, a f- do they have like a dandelion festival up there every year? What yeah, is that they festival? Probably have they have like a dandelion festival. <laughs> they don't have much in Tacoma. That's why I'm tripping that your mom decided to move there. Yeah, I know. Because I couldn't wait to get the fuck out. It's it's rough. Mm. No, she, but there, it's different now. W- w- uh, Wigby Island. Oh, Whitby Islands. That's I, different. I, That's I, beautiful. I, yeah, I don't know the. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know the fucking area. Yeah, she's going to have a good time. Damn. So we'll see. Well, I will be, um, where will I be? I will be, I'll be in the studio next week. Nice. Miss you, buddy. Get out of here. I got a book coming out March 23rd. Oh, shit. No way. Yeah, got a book coming out. We already sold out of the uh, pre-signed copies. We're going to do more. Do you have one on Audible for Theo? Yep, we got that for you. Uh... Read, uh, hey. read by uh, Ray Liotta. <laughs> <laughs> wow! No, but he we just, just smoked the audio book. So that shit was hard. Clear, bro. I heard those are a nightmare. They are. I heard it's hard. a lot of work. It took me two weeks to read that That's thing, what I heard. and I didn't realize how Why? bad I was at reading. But goddamn, yeah. What, that, what that, was hard about it, Joe Coy? Huh? I'm curious about that. What was hard about? It? What was hard about reading the uh, for uh, an audio book? One, like you got to act out, out. you know, like the quotes and stuff. You, you have to change. keep doing it like line after line, right? Like yeah. I, I've heard so many people go, dude, the book was the easy part. The audible, doing yeah. the actual audible. But Brendan, is we'll find thing. out if we just let him answer. We'll find out. <laughs> we're asking. I, I'm just telling you, we're, t- we're talking business and books here. So maybe take a hike, huh? <laughs> Why don't you go play in the okay. snow, baby? I'm trying to as soon as we get out of this episode. I'm just trying to find out what is the fucking hard part about doing an audio book from somebody who wrote an audio book. Yeah, you got to read. You got to read it perfectly. Like you can't read it the way like when you read, you skip words and you got to read it word for word. You got to land those punctuations correctly. The quotes you like to do it in a character. You want to sound like it's an actual quote. You know what I mean? So. It, a lot of that. It was you, like, oh, you have to do it yourself, right? Oh, I did it myself. Yeah. Some people have other people do it. It's just not as good. Yeah, I think they do it because it's yeah, hard. like a stunt throat. Yeah. And and another thing was reliving those stories. You know, it got emotional. So, like, there's a mm. lot of things that I talked about in my childhood with my brother and his his drug addiction, and it was just it was hard. What man. was his drug of choice? Uh, well, you know, he all. You know, my brother he is liked the he's whole still gamut. in a, he's, he's 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 still in a hospital to this day. Oh wow! So uh, yeah, it go. was it was a pretty it was rough. That's tough. R- reliving that and reading it out loud, you know, so that that was hard. It was kind of emotional. It was a roller coaster in that in that booth. Sounds good though, man. Mm. Oh, thank you, man. It's pretty cool. I I, I How can't. How long believe did it's it take be, you? It's in Barnes and Noble. Like, let's go. That's dope, man. That's awesome. I love you, Theo. That's awesome, man. Love you too, man. Love you guys. You, Thank you. See you next week, buddy. All right, man. I'll see you next week, man. Now let me broadcast about this little podcast. King, cause he got rats, sting, cause he fought back. Theo got that, hit a great block bag. Shop like the wrestle, even though we never rock mask. And you know cat's gonna take your breath. Lucky she got nine lives, cause she fresh to death. And I hope I don't come off strong or make you log off. When I'm in your DMs and I send another hot dog. Just kidding, didn't send that pic. 
that would be too premature Just like Nick, I'm slick, I'm sick, too legit to quit They be calling me Chappelle cause I got the tricks And tell me how am I supposed to live without Chin singing He gon' take you on a date and just do a lot of drinking Ain't no thing, chicken wing, it's the bat with the rings And the beat who can swing, it's the king and the sting Yo, Brendan 